Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so you don't miss when I go live, you don't miss my videos, and check back usually around 10ish or 9ish. I am usually have an upload for you guys by 10. Um, if not, I do very early morning. So either way, if you click the bell, you'll be a part of the notification squad. So today I'm here with baby Ruby and you guys know I was trying to sell her earlier and I'll tell you guys, I am an addict when it comes to um, collecting and now I'm an addict when it comes to painting. So I see kits and I'm like, oh my God, I want to paint that kit. And so that's kind of how it was for me. I saw a kit and I still want to get the kit and I still will try to get the kit. Um, I just... Um, because of the holidays, I'm not going to ship after a certain day. So I just said, you know what, if she don't sell by that date, by the, my ship date, then I'm not going to sell her because I'm not going to ship. And then in that case, I'm going to have to wait anyway. So I might as well just wait and I can get the kit, you know, at a later date. Um, if it's meant to be, it'll, it'll happen. So, um, Ruby will be staying. I'm also adding another birdie, which will be a boy. Um, that I'm going to paint myself, but he will be AA. Um, Ruby is more like a um, light biracial or um, some people may just consider her full Caucasian. Um, it just depends on what what you're used to seeing. Um, she does have a, quite a bit of little color in person, so I think, um, well, I think her color is showing up just fine here. So... Anyway, so, I, you know, I, I, I have to keep saying it because some people don't understand that most black babies are born so light. And when they're biracial, they're pretty much born looking pretty much Caucasian almost. So um, there's a very thin line on what you want to call biracial. But anyway, nevertheless, it doesn't matter to me. She's Ruby. She's Ruby. Um, so I'm going to get her changed. And, um, yeah, so, and the blanket that she's laying on was actually hand made by Stacy. So thank you, Stacy, again for the blanket. This little girl is only 13 and a half inches. And so it is really fun. I thought, you know, I used to think it was frustrating to try to find, you know, clothes to match them to fit them and stuff like that but it actually has been kind of fun searching around for different stuff to fit her i also want to show you guys i am finalizing out baby alex and i haven't like glossed this bit this uh i haven't glossed his uh tummy plate and i gotta you know clean it up a little bit more all that great jazz well i won't show it to you I was going to show you the different colors. I guess I could kind of, sort of. Nah, I'll let you guys see it later. I'll show you guys that later. But, um, I was just going to show the comparison of the skin tones. The difference in the skin tones. Uh, do you guys want to see? The video really is not about Alex, but I, was, I guess I'll show it to you guys. Um, since it's here. But, like, this is um, Bryson's tummy plate. And even if you if you see that up against her, you can see the difference of the color. And then this is my other baby that is a custom baby um, tummy plate. And you can see that up against her. And so, and then those are the two different, you know, those are some of the different shades of colors. Like, like I said, I rarely um paint babies the same color but as you can see you you can see her her color shows a little bit more that she actually have color that's that's what i wanted to show you guys like it depends on what they're laying against that makes them look lighter or darker or whatever but yeah so anyway that's that's that so those are some of my colors my skin tones if you guys are interested in owning one of my babies one day, um, just know that next year I'm going to be really um, working on babies for Buy It Now. 
um, I'm really I'm doing some customs now but I don't plan to do a lot of customs next year and um, not in silicone um, so I plan to do you know a few different babies and I do have like kit suggestions and stuff like that that I would do so that way I'll do kits that people actually are looking for and want and then you know if you like it you know all you got to do is be ready to buy you know um I'm not gonna do uh holes or uh what is called first right refusal I'm not doing any of that because when I get done with my babies I pretty much like to um to get paid so um this little outfit this little rumper was made by pat green which is pat, pat doodles um on etsy guys hands down she is like the best i've gotten so far with you know the little handmade stuff um i really love it doesn't it doesn't look um i don't know I don't know how to explain it, but it looks store-bought. Um, it's very, very, very well done. So it doesn't look store-bought. Um, you don't see like all the the stitching and all that and stuff. It's it's just really, really nicely made. And it's so little. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. So yeah. And the little back. But I think the the stitching and everything and the little legs fit nicely. It's just really, it was really, it's really nice. And I've gotten some stuff from her and I'm going to get some more stuff from her. I was going to comb her hair, but I decided, what's the point of cutting my hair? Because I'm about to put her in a, um, look at this. I'm about to put her in a hat. So she doesn't have armatures, so you kind of have to prop her hands if you want to like give her different looks or different poses like if you were see I just made it pop out but yeah this silicone is so nice though it really like her little legs and everything just be wrinkling so I'm just gonna put her on these little on this hat and this was a hat I, it came from um, Hope Mason and so I don't know who made it but it's really cute and it does fit her so see <laughs> all right so I put her on these little shoes and that's pretty much all she's going to wear. I asked um, Stacy to make her a blanket. <laughs> if she would make her a little blanket that's her size. Um, so that I'll have like a little blanket that she can wrap up in. You know, I could wrap her up in the other blankets, but you have to fold them so much and it'd be so thick. I really want, you know, a blanket for a miniature blanket her size. Because once all this COVID stuff is going away, if I go out, she would be one that would probably always go with me because she's so little. You know, in addition to whatever other baby. Like, anytime I have a little baby like this, it's like you could always, you know, take them for the ride. And I might even actually get her a smaller travel bag from um, Pat Do Doodles. Like, I think I want a special one made for her, and I'm going to um, maybe uh, pick out the design. Because I do have a little purse that's like a little poodle purse. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a purse, like a regular purse. It wasn't made to carry a dog or anything like that. I'm just saying it's shaped like a poodle. And I could actually use that for a little bag for her because she's so little. Um... But she's just so cute. I mean, guys, you got to admit, she is so cute. <laughs> I just really like... There, there we go. Let's see. Zoom out. So, I had it really close. Um, and she takes this little passy 
Let me, I have to put some KY on it. Guys, it's very, very important that you use a lubricant when you're, um, when you're doing the pacifiers for your baby. I really suggest the KY because it glides across the lips, um, so, so effortlessly and, um, it just, you know, it reduced the chances of you like rubbing with the paint and stuff on the lips and stuff because, um, you know, the friction and all that can, you know, cause issues with the mouth. So I do have that in my care instructions that you use KY. Also, it goes in like so easy. So with the KY, even better than powder, like what we used to use back in the day was um, baby powder. Get you guys so you guys can see a full thing, but yeah, um, it just works so much easier that way. Um, and it don't leave that white powdery residue too. So I kind of like that. I used to like when I first started using it, I really liked that part. I was like, oh, I like this. No, you know, no powder residue. So it's gonna be nice to have two of them. I'm kind of glad that I didn't sell her, and I keep. I, I've done it twice so far already. I remember I did this with another baby and then I ended up being like a keeper for a long time. Like, um, But that's just because I get excited and it's like, oh, I can paint another one. But I don't know that I will get one to come out like her. Um, her paint style is just so unique um, to my other babies. Like this is the most perfect baby that... Um, I did as far as the way that I want want my painting to look. So going forward, um, I'm going to use this technique on my full bodies um, because I really, really like it. It's very like seamless. So she's very tiny. So I'll really be able to know when I do it on a bigger baby um, from beginning to end. Um, but that's that's. That's what I was go I've been trying to accomplish is one thing that I've been trying to alleviate, like not being able to see, you know, any paint strokes and stuff. So um but it also helped the the, the pour of the silicone. Um certain silicones take the paint differently and it's much harder to um work the paint. And silicone is just so different than reborns. But what do you guys think about her little tiny little cell? I just think she's so cute. <laughs> I love her. Like, I really, really love her. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just something about her. Like, I, I don't know, guys. I, I've, I've had so much trauma and stuff. And I know everybody have with 2020. 2020 was just like a year where we just like, oh my God, it's something that you normally see on TV. Like, is this really, really happening to us in this world that, you know, in this country that we are dealing with a huge pandemic that's killing so many people that nobody knows what's going on? Are we really walking around with masks and all this stuff on? Like, this is like something you see in movies. And, you know, so it's just been so much... But I have to say with my hobby and my collecting, I've had one of the most delightful years in my collecting and my in painting. And I think I had a really good growth spurt too. Um, I've really been adventuring out, taking chances. Like I said, I'm working on baby Sasha and I can't wait for you guys to meet Sasha. Sasha is again gonna be a very different baby from my normal paint style. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but you won't see her till probably next year, um, uh, because I won't show her until she gets her hair, but, um, it's just been a really good year and I've made some really cool friends, you know, over the time. Well, you know, I don't know if we should go that deep as to friends, but you know, 
I'm going to call you friends for now. We'll be friends until you do something trifling. No, I'm just kidding. I know I'm serious. But um, I've met a lot of cool people and um, a lot of doors has opened up for me. Um, I've broadened my horizon to exploring different sculptors and kits. And, you know, I'm just not, you know, how this tunnel vision, you know, one thing, one thing only. And because I've downsized a certain to a certain extent um it has allowed me to be more freely financially of what how many variety of things i can buy and it's kind of like how i used to be in the beginning and so i'm really really enjoying that although you know i know everybody's holding their breath and saying yeah she's saying all that now but claire teller has a new baby coming out guys and everybody is like messaging me like are you waiting for that new baby and it's like if she paints a black baby and if she paints a biracial baby i know you're gonna go after it and i'm like i want to see the face i'm excited because it's a newborn like you guys are um but i'm being honest and truthful truthful i can't afford it anymore it's out of my league but i'm definitely going to be there cringing going oh my god can I sell my life can I sell my soul I need this baby you know I know I'm probably gonna do that but this is gonna be the real test and the real you know it's gonna be the real thing where I'm really gonna get to feel it because she hasn't had a new baby in a long time so um I think the last baby was um what is that baby name Oh my God, I can't even think of his name. Oh my God, I can't, what is his name? Oh my gosh. I can't, let me, let me see, I gotta, I can't, I can't believe I can't remember the name. But, um, she hasn't had a baby in a, a, a doll, because this is a doll, not a kit, which means it'll be totally completed by her. I don't know how. Ethan, she hasn't had a baby since Ethan. I had to look at it, look look on her website. Like I forgot, cause I wasn't really into Ethan, so I don't it don't stick as much. Um, I love the movement of Ethan, but I wasn't really into Ethan um, as I was. She hasn't had a a doll doll that I actually really loved since a while, actually. Um, so um, you know, I I the other ones were kids, so. It's going to be interesting how I feel about it, but it don't matter how I feel about it. If I can't afford it, it ain't going to matter one way or another, but it is going to be that moment where it's going to be like, am I going to be like, oh, I'll sell Noah. I'll sell, I'll sell, I'll sell one of my real kids. You know, I don't know. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. So, you know, every day I'm waiting for the post to pop up and I'm going to be like, in a way I just don't want to even look because I just don't want to put myself through it but I think that I don't know I think it's exciting though but it's exciting because I have a couple friends that are waiting and they got their money ready and it's like it'll be exciting to get to see them get the baby and stuff and I can like love them through them so I'm gonna live through you guys because it's so gonna be worth it but anyway this video isn't about that this video was about Ruby Tuesday here so um I don't know guys I know this has been a long video but I'm having a boy so I gotta think of a boy name so he's gonna be the same size as her but he's gonna be a boy and he's gonna be um truly AA I'm gonna really practice guys going in a deeper tone so keep your fingers crossed um haters stay away don't don't try to jinx me um but yeah if you guys have any suggestions of names for a little tiny baby boy, um, let me know. Um, I have another baby that's coming. So I've kind of been naming my kids before I actually get them. So I have Sasha that I'm working on. And then when I paint my Sam by Gudrun Legler, his name is going to be Mason. And so I'll have Mason and Sasha um, in 2021. Um, and then I have another Alex by Claire Taylor that I'm painting specially for myself in 2021, but I don't even, that's going to probably be a girl. So I'm not going to even go there with the name on that one yet. 
that one's gonna be a while down the line because I I got a look that I want for that baby and it's gonna take me a while to, to get there. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you like these long chatting videos. I'm trying to do mix it up and do short, long, short, long. Um, if this video comes out before the 11th, don't forget to pre-order your Cody kit by Laura Tutu Ross. And yeah, see you guys later. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. And let me know if you make it to the end, say the goat. <laughs> Don't forget, say the goat. <laughs>